All right, everyone. It is me, Johnson Chen, and happy. Uh, what is it? Good Friday. Uh, I didn't even know it was a uh, a holiday. Also, it's called Good Friday, so it's supposed to be not specifically a date, I think, but specifically a Friday, because that's uh, so. Apparently, that's when uh, good old buddy Christ of ours uh, was uh, crucified at the cross. You know, died for our sins and all that. So let's see. Uh, so yeah, everything's actually off today. Uh, but luckily, as we already know from the story, you know, he just simply came back to life. So it's like, oh, it's not that big of a deal. So I, I, that's like the uh, lesson I got. So anyway, um, so people continue to get pretty mad at China, right? So, you know, uh, justifiably. Um, but with that being said, it looks like things are working out pretty well. Uh, cause a, everyone's going to see, see the nice thing I look at it is, you know, uh, I gotta be careful how I say this, the globalists, like right now they're trying to do a juggle a lot of things. On the one hand, they don't want to lose control, but on the other hand, they're salivating at the fact that they have so many people under lockdown. Cause at this point we should be reopening America, but we're not cause the number of flu deaths have obviously been prevented. Um, so now they're just trying to take uh, more power and more control. Now, with that being said, they're also trying to place blame, uh, a large amount of blame on China. Well, there is well, there is one problem with that. What's going to happen when the same people blaming China, we successfully solve the problem with China because China actually is not in charge of this world. All right. They have a lot of money in our institutions, but that's all they really have is just money. Right. I don't know too many Chinese firms, you know, promoting, say, you know, pornography or other uh, degenerate uh, programs that are affecting us. Maybe they are, uh, but I haven't heard of it. And if they are, then I definitely want to know about it because guess what? They're not the only ones doing it, right? The global is doing that shit. So it's going to basically, we're going to take all that anger and start, you know, questioning and criticizing the countries in the Middle East that cannot be named or criticized for the time being for doing the same shit to America. And then when they start saying, well, that's that anti XYZ group. Well, well, then they'll just say, hey, you, you spent your entire fucking time like bashing Chinese people in China. So, you know, suck dick, you know, <laughs> and, that, and you think I'm going to fucking back them? No, because they spend all their time fucking bashing me and Chinese people. So I don't really give a shit that it's like, oh, well, you know, we can tell the French between Chinese people and China. No, no, not, no, you really can't. There's a reason why, you know, people get really upset about this racism stuff. Because humans, a lot of humans just cannot be fucking trusted with, you know, freedom. That's why we don't have freedom, all right? Uh, in fact, uh, the reason why I'm on my Twitter timeline, well, first, you know, uh, praise Jesus Christ, right? You know, uh, he's, he gave up his worldly life, which he didn't really care about, obviously, so that we could all, you know, uh, go free-ish. Right, or at least have salvation. So that's why today is a holiday. And nothing's open. Um, let's see. And before I go into Adam Townsend, because he pretty much sums up everything very nicely. Uh, Japan. I don't know. I actually, this is the first situation I've heard of this, but Japan is actually paying their firms to leave China, which is hilarious because China and Japan don't like each other because of well, China specifically is really mad at Japan. That's how I should put it because of you know the Nanking massacre in World War Two. That's why if you ever watch that TV show when I was still doing political videos, uh, Man in the High Castle, uh, a subplot line is actually, you know, China is still at war with Japan, right? So uh, there's a, that's a big thing. So anyway, Japan is paying firms to leave China to relocate production elsewhere as part of coronavirus stimulus. And this is being reported by the actual uh, South China Morning Post, the actual official China Xinhua whatever news state run agency. So let's see. I also have something else. Uh, well, I guess we could kind of go back up there, but we really need to look at this. So surprisingly, uh, these are my quick thoughts about what comes next, right, for coronavirus. And interestingly enough, uh, you can see Scott Adams actually seems to know this guy. So apparently this guy is like really high level, or at least he used to be very high level, uh, you know, left wing dude. So, uh, I mean, I wouldn't even consider, I would consider it more like center left, maybe, right? I mean, at this point, I think everybody's a moderate at this point. A couple of thoughts. Elites have optimized the beacons, mechanisms, and procedures to restrain the centers. That's why censorship's a problem. And make a docile public forget what freedom was or how it expressed itself. 
If you don't remember, you can't restore. That's true. That's why That's why as much as I just want to sit on my ass all day, play Tarkov, and eventually Mountain Blade, I have to keep working on my video game. Because I took, I took the past two days off from programming. So today I'll try to like get something done. Because uh, I always need at least two days in a row rest. Like, this programming shit is just so mentally intense. Spectacles at the Colosseum always got larger, and so will ours. He's referring to, like I guess, the Roman Colosseum, right, during the Roman end times. And so will ours forevermore, and with few intermissions or acts of levity. Uh, I mean, what does levity mean? Uh, humor, frailty, especially if you're in a serious manner, with humor in a manner lacking... Do. Uh, or acts of levity. Um, I think he's saying we're just going to stop taking everything seriously. You think COVID-19 was big, what do you see what comes next, and then after that, and after that, and so on. Well, I hope there won't be a next. Uh, you know, at that point, Nick Fuentes and the Griper Uprising should uh, do some serious damage. Once people are released from quarantine, they'll hardly disembark from their cruise ship prison for a buying spree, which is, yeah, stock markets, and then rush back to their boat for dinner. Each night they return, the boat's layouts will have changed, like Dark City. That's actually a pretty good fill. It's, like, pretty old. It's like the Matrix before the Matrix. In fact, supposedly, I think, the, I think they were called the Wachowski Brothers. The guys who created the Matrix, they said they got a lot of inspiration from this movie, Dark City. Um, so... Uh, you should definitely go watch it. It's old and yeah, it's got dated shit, but it's uh, it's a really good uh, it's a really good film. Uh, but that's exactly what's happening. Like shit's changing and you don't even know it. Notice, and then one day you're just like, and then there's actually I will spoil a little bit of Dark City. In Dark City, it's always nighttime, right? There's never a sun, and then basically the whole premise of the movie, you know, is. Uh, everybody repeats the same night over and over and over. I think something like that. They repeat the same night over and over again. And then when everybody goes to sleep, what happens is the people in control of Dark City, like the, uh, you know, the, the bad people in like the black leather trench coats and the black hats, they come in and start like changing everyone's, you know, everyone's unconscious. They move around their pieces. They start ejecting people with like weird drugs and shit. And everybody just forgets. And then when they wake up, they just resume as if nothing happened. Like they don't even remember what happened before. But one man, which is of course the uh, story of the movie, uh, finds out about uh, all this. And then that's the whole point of the movie, right? He remembers, right? You know, that, that's the thing. That's what. That's what he, that's what he become. that's his number one crime in Dark City. He remembers or something like that, right? It's just like today. <laughs> so it's really, it's really, a, it's a really good film. Um, uh, but yeah, and the hero of the story, he just simply asks like one of the other detectives, right? Well, I guess one of the co-stars or whatever. I forgot his name. He's like, like, yeah, because he's kind of like questioning, but he's like kind of open to the idea that something's not right with, with the city. He's like... He just asks him, all right? The hero asks the guy, okay, if you think I'm full of shit, I'm just paraphrasing, let me ask you this. When was the last time you saw the sunset he had, or saw the sunrise? When was it daytime? That's all he asks. When did you see the light? And he actually, and the, and the cold story, I was like, huh, you know, funny enough, um, huh, <laughs> right? It's exact, again, it's like, you know, real life. You know, before I had to delete my political videos, one of my favorite sayings was people are going to start asking questions that are going to require answers. And that's exactly where we're finding ourselves in. Uh, I personally think, though, that we're going to not allow this to happen. Right. Because because, again, uh, before we'll go back to that. But uh, let's see. Because, again, what's happening is since everyone's bashing China and this brutal Trump ad also bashes China, too. But it's in a good way, though, right? Because Joe Biden is actually loyal to China instead of uh, America, right? And it, this thing is really fun. I don't want to play it because it's a minute long. And I, want, I just want to go play my video games because I know I'm going to be coding later tonight. So I want to squeeze in as much uh, games as I can to de-stress. Um, yeah, everyone's going to be ask, making a lot of questions. You know, like some will still be like in Dark City where they'll just, like Adam says, they'll just, you know, leave their prison ship to go buy a bunch of shit and then go back to the prison to, for dinner. Um, but not all of us will be like that. And luckily, there'll be way more than one hero. All right. You know, so.
It's gonna be uh, it's gonna be interesting times. And our people are right today. You can't have the elites violently take over. You need to preserve the appearance of continuity. All this has happened before. It's history. It's in the libraries until that history is erased. Well, the good news is we all know. So, and of course we have this retard that just says, "Well, he sounds like you talk about China." No dumbass. It's it's like, you know what? Let me see. Um, yeah, he's a fake account. Yeah, let's just fucking. We're just gonna report this piece of shit. These fucking bots. Yeah, we're just gonna get rid of them. Because I don't want these fucking it. Because these assholes also eventually start spamming my shit, too. Uh, so, I'll well, take some preemptive strikes now. Uh, maybe we should consider who a fake medical association. Yes. Uh, well, this surprisingly got a lot of stuff. Yeah, they are fake. They are fake. So Sarah Carter says, who, who director says politicizing COVID-19 leads to body bags, but he was accused of covering up epidemics in Ethiopia. Yeah, so the who is obviously a, uh, I don't know, the counterpart to fake news terrorism, right? They're just a fake medical organization at this point. Like, they completely fucked us. And now, and then everyone knows it, and now they're blaming China and Chinese people uh, a little too much. Well, I wouldn't say a little too much, but, you know, it's going to, like, in that direction because of stupid lying, you know, F-words, like this fucking asshole, right? He still is in charge of the WHO. Why hasn't he resigned yet, right? He told people the masks were ineffective when the opposite was bullshit. In this Joe Biden ad I did not play, it actually said that China was actually hoarding all the medical supplies and uh, masks from the entire world. Uh, I didn't actually know that. So, yeah. So, all these fucking duplicitous F-words are, like, completely fucking everybody else over. And then now they're just going to, like, you know, just start getting mad at everyone. And then I have to fucking, you know, be the innocent guy in the middle and just gets fucked in the ass, right? Because, you know, because, like, hey, you know, you had a loved one die from coronavirus, right? You know, you're, you're going to be angry. Well, you're going to need someone to blame, right? You're not going to blame yourself, obviously. You know, and it blows up in my face. So, you know, all these all these evil assholes are just, like, lying. So, yeah. But the good news is we're all exposing it. So hopefully once things go back to normal, and it looks like uh, May 1st will actually be uh, when we start reopening America. Uh, let's see. where I had a... Didn't I retweet Trump here on this one? Uh, I must have just hit the like button. I'll just go over here. But he said, happy Good Friday. Yes, White House. Uh, of course, we are doing everything proud to disparage and end them. People's voice. Oh, excuse me. Well, I still believe it's actually a bio lab. I'm not sure why Tom Cotton is uh, attacking the bio lab thing, but I don't know. I'll, I'll just leave it there. Uh, Arkansas. I don't know. Eh, we'll see. Um, I don't know. This is a really weird tweet. Like, okay, so the New York Times is talking about the biolab. Like, that's actually pretty important. Like, it is the biolab. And even Tucker Carlson, even though he's been going on an anti-China rant, too, he even said, well, here's, a, he actually investigated. He said, yeah, it, it came from bats and bat soup. But here's the thing. The particular bat strain they're talking about is not found within 900 kilometers of where China claims it to be. So it is the bio lab. Um, I don't know. But Tom Cotton, like, I know the name, obviously, but there's always something about him I can't quite remember. So maybe it was something suspicious. So that's why I'm not going to re react to that. All right, somewhere down here, Trump said we were going to reopen America. Let's see. Uh, probably he's already retreated a bunch of stuff. Not good, Craig. Okay, so it's probably further down here. Oh, here we go. Fauci, we're on track for more normal summer. Mnuchin likely to begin reopening in May. Yeah, so a lot of people are like, yeah, we need to reopen America. So that's that's when the, when the ups are going to go up. And as Trump already tweeted, you know... This week, the stock market has gone up a lot since 1974 or some shit like that. Uh, I don't know about that, but I don't really care. I just like to retweet it because I just want this shit back uh, back to normal. And, of course, I did not read like or retweet because it it's the Daily Wire. So, you know, we're, we're at war with the fake conservatives. All right, anyway, that's 14 and a half minutes of the news. So we're just going to go through the prices, and then that'll just be it. Uh, because again, I didn't know today was a holiday, so I don't expect anything to be happening. Um, and on top of that, I will also just not be doing videos this weekend, right? I'm just going to take some time off. 
So, you know, we're going to stick to Monday through Friday schedule. See how that goes. Uh, all right. So, fortunately, yeah. See, despite this, it's like, what, what, what the fuck is this? Right? Joe Biden should be at like 10 cents. But, uh, I mean, it just goes to show, you know, our fucking democracy is really just run by a bunch of retards. Uh, I spent more of a sucker rally. So, it's 30% of the money hash rate institutional buyers. Oh, yeah. So, the New York power plant is selling hash power to. Huh. Okay, that's kind of cool. You can now at 51 for the cost of a single Bitcoin. Uh, that's just fear mongering because we still have these assholes trying to short the markets. Uh, I should have getting back to my money to current. Uh, we, uh, 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 computer side turn to cryptography, pandemic, and location tracking devices. I don't know, maybe they do. Yeah, I mean, but Bitcoin has already gone up already in response. It's already going up a little bit. Let me refresh this one more time. Bitcoin interest for this week is still 13. Um, oh, wow. So it actually has gone down significantly, it looks like. Uh, well, I hit the refresh button, so yeah. So Bitcoin does at 64.3 percent, 24 hours is 137 point seven billion. Uh, Bitcoin has actually, well, it has gone up a lot since then, but the problem is these chart patterns don't look right. So it's back down at 68.68. Trying to see, well, let's see, we can get a more updated one. Uh, February Bitcoin price was 4,000. Hmm. Yeah, this is unusually low, but it's still pretty high. All right, good enough. But 68.76, so it's down for some profit taking. Litecoin's also down quite a bit. 42 down down to 42.28. Dog coin, where's doggy coin? 238 million market cap. Hmm. So not too bad. But yeah, everyone's taking a hit. But I mean, Bitcoin's been going up a lot this week too. So it's probably a matter of time before it, you know starts uh, dropping back. Um, so t see, I was expecting today to maybe be a down day, but again, I didn't know it was Good Friday or a holiday, so I guess the drop will come on Monday for the markets. All right. Uh, Steam. So Steam's been holding pretty steady. Uh, of course, it's also going down along everyone else. It's now down to 15.38 cents. Uh, but I bet Hive is probably doing very badly. Which means I can probably buy a lot of high for cheap. No, it's actually gone up to the 10. Okay, so, because it's been going down a shit ton and then, yeah, it'll bounce back up. So, all right, so high would still be an all right buy for me. Um, but it's still a good sign that Steam is also pretty stable despite the, you know, hard fork. So that's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. Fed will act forcefully, proactively, and something else. Um, wait, this is from yesterday. I didn't refresh this, did I? Yeah, I didn't refresh. That's from yesterday. Uh, now they're promoting this fake asshole. Uh, fake conservative asshole, Scarabucci. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so nothing new here. All right. JMC coins at 7 to 8. Oh, wow, it's gone up. Now it's at 7 to 8. 404 coin is at 6 to 7. Um, oh, yeah, I thought I was going to change the APR when we do the uh, coin swap, but I actually forgot that I actually did a tiered system. So uh, we're just going to leave it the way it is. Once the swap goes well with 404 coin, we're going to go back and look at the swap for JFC coin because I don't want to just increase the APR. We want to actually also destroy the supply too so it becomes valuable again. Uh, so. You know, again, I think we'll just destroy all the supply that we can with JMC coin and then set. I think we're going to try to set the APR to like a flat 125% APR, 150%. Um, because I, because again, I think I mentioned in yesterday's video, Platinum Bar Coin. I don't want to dig through it again here. Uh, it's at 200% APR. It has no support, no sign of their developer. It's been out for a few years now. And it's obviously using an older code base. And it's still worth like, like 60 something Satoshis of a dog coin. XPTXC. Well, now it's down to 20, but again, you know, if it had actual like public support, you know, and maybe a, a, a lower APR, this still would be worth a lot more. So I want JMC coin to be the same way. It'll just always be, you know, start small and then it'll just be lower. So I don't know. I think it'll just be flat. 120 to 150%. It has to be high enough so that if you hold a large amount like I do, then um, you'll make some good money. But it's not so high that it creates 
crazy amounts of hyperinflation. So it, it's very hard to figure out that middle ground. So uh, I think 120 and 150%. I still have to figure it out, but you know, we have to wait till 404 does the uh, coin swap first. So you know, we'll, we'll do it with that. Of course, two by two is going to be pretty solid for a while. So it's 60 to 61. Uh, you know, no complaints here. Uh, compound coins cooling off a little bit, 7,300 to 8,200 Satoshis of a dog coin. You know, hey, I'm all right with it. I mean, hell, look at the volume of it. This thing's just insane. And I'm not selling any coins today either. All right, so we pretty much went over the news at the beginning of the video. Um, push to reopen Kai Spurs worry. So, of course, the WAP on the globalists are trying to push more mass hysteria. Because uh, the number of flu deaths are very low. Right or coronavirus deaths are very low, but they but they're, they're still trying to like push this mass hysteria. It's like it's really starting to piss me off. Uh, uh, see, coronavirus immunity cards for Americans are being discussed. Like, on the one hand, I like the idea of it, but on the other hand, it's also the predecessor to tracking everybody. Like, this is fucking. This isn't a direct attack on our freedom and our civil liberties. Like, we will not do this. Also, if we're going to have these immunity cards, guess what I'm going to fucking push for? We're going to push for mandatory voter IDs, right? How would the globalists and shit live far left like that, right? Hey, you're tracking everybody with immunity. Why can't we track people who can vote? You know, go fuck yourself. We're just going to take over the government apparatus. So, uh, but, you know, uh, I'm already starting to not like this Fauci guy. Uh, there are other reasons why I can't discuss it because of deep platforming risk, but he's advocated for degeneracy and even did fake news shit about it. And, uh, you know, Trump needs to get rid of this stupid fuck. Problem is, I don't think Trump can just simply fire him now. That would just be su political suicide. So he's got to have to basically, you know, have him out there. Our society's going to reopen U.S., Fauci says. No, fuck you, Fauci. Like, I'm starting to really get annoyed with this Fauci asshole. Antibody test for novel coronavirus could be available with uh, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. There. So, let's see. New York power plant sells 30% of its Bitcoin money hash rate to corona. Oh, I almost said coronavirus. Institutional virus. Uh, see, the prop uh, proprietary for the, my Bitcoin has sold to 30% to, okay. So basically they're competing against uh, Bitmain and like the guys who make ant miners. Uh, so now they're getting into cloud mining business essentially. Uh, uh, one hundred could be able to produce about uh, that little Bitcoin? Jeez, those terahashes and computer power produce so little these days. Uh, the yield a daily yield about 1.8 Bitcoin worth around 13 grand. In addition to having the core center hardware pledged as collateral. Collaterals. That said, that with the Bitcoin networks having been approaching about 30 days, the newly minted Bitcoin twenty will be reduced from right now from 1800 years to 1900. Yeah. So this Bitcoin halving, um, I don't know why this thing says in 30 days. Really, it's accelerated that much. Bitcoin halving clock. Uh, like the combination of Bitcoin halving plus America reopening or really the world even partially reopening is just going to create a massive, uh, uh, bull run, right? The bull run that we were supposed to have before coronavirus hit. Um, and of course my stock market account will be restored to 85 to 110,000. I might consider doing the screenshots of it just so people could start taking me more seriously. Cause I am starting to get annoyed with, um, people just not uh, taking this shit seriously, right? If people don't get rich, especially if they don't listen to me and then they just go off and do their stupid shit. Uh, oh, I have my Twitter closed, but we're going to become like Dark City and I don't fucking want that, right? Unlike the Dark City where there's one hero, I don't need to be the fucking hero, all right? I just want to be one of many heroes, all right? Because I need, I, I need to start crowdsourcing this shit, all right? Because they're already fucking talking about uh immunity cards for americans at first at my first instinct is intellectually yeah that sounds like a great idea and then i pause and i go wait a minute this is ho a horrible idea all right you know we should not be tracking people like this like cattle all right if anything we should have voter id that's what we should be tracking all right but we want to do as little tracking as possible um but this is uh this is like, the fact that there's no outrage over this is also, you know, a problem, too. Oh, yeah. I don't know why I'm doing this. So, wow, it really isn't 32 days and a half. Holy shit. So, Bitcoin's going to be halving a lot sooner. 
Wow. Oh, wait a minute. No, it's already April 10th. What am I? Th For some reason, I thought today was April 1st. Jeez. Yeah, so it's about right. Yeah, the middle of May. Yeah. Damn, time really flies. Uh, let's see. The comp the uh, Bitcoin mining plant says uh, the amount earned in the deal, but major Bitcoin miners really retire on twenty three dollars per terahash for several of their newest machines. Probably some same kind of blah 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 blah. Green was producing an average of five point five Bitcoin a day by utilizing fourteen megawatts of its total one hundred six megawatts capacity. The Bitcoin's network total average back then was around blah 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 blah. It has plugged in additional equipment over the past several weeks. Yeah, smart move, because you're going to be making a shit ton of money right now. So I guess we'll make this this thumbnail, because technically not much. Um, but uh, yeah, but with that being said, um, so crypto's going down a bit. It looks like profit taking. I'm not sure these price lines are being drawn properly, but we'll see. Uh, but everything's been going up a lot, especially days in a row. So there has to come, it has to come down at some point just to recover. And then after that, we'll see what happens. But it's the weekend. I mean, today's the weekend because it's Good Friday, so you know we won't you know we won't know anything until Monday, so uh, yeah, which is why I'm going to be doing Monday through Friday now. Anyway, if you like what you saw, read or heard, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from, or on my uh, YouTube's at youtube.com forward slash JMC Radio. Make sure you smash that subscribe button on the right hand side of this page uh, so that we can continue growing this channel. Uh, yeah. So that being said, um, I'm thinking I could become more like someone like Adam Townsend, right? I have never heard of this guy before, but apparently everybody who's rich and famous seem to know him. So that probably means he provides some kind of like very important value that I'm not aware of. So, you know, cause I always did say I wanted to be the right wing equivalent of George Soros, except, you know, I'm kind of too cheap to give anyone money. So maybe I'll just be more like a uh, political arm, but I don't know. Well, we'll have to see. I'm still, I'm still trying to figure out what the hell I want to be doing. Cause, uh, cause now I'm just starting to like get annoyed with a lot of what I'm seeing. And I don't want to start investing in people and things where they're just going to fuck everybody else over down the line. So, because again, character flaws. So, but we'll see, we'll see how it goes. But at the very least I'll get rich. Eh, maybe we'll get a little famous. Then those of like the two of you that are watching might fix you more than that. Of course, smart enough to listen to me. Well, you probably don't care about fame, but you'll definitely make money. So yeah, but yeah, that's how it goes. All right, see you all on Monday, unless something significant happens over the weekend. Then I may do a bonus video. All right. So remember, no videos this weekend. All right, see you Monday. Thanks, Judson Chan. JMC coin, 404 coin, and here is our little thumbnail.